next part, uh, attaching the hinges to the hinge plate really before we assemble it all into the actual, actual outer frame. Uh, so we're going to get us this hinge, pop it into this section here, uh, use a little machine screw that we've got provided in there, and then with a, a 3mm Allen key, just tighten those up in that section. You can get that one in there, there we go, that's started, like so. And then the other one in the other side. and just repeat the process for the other hinges. Right, we're gonna attach the first sash onto the frame now. Uh, these are just little packer pieces, just obviously gives me a better idea of, of where I'm fitting the screw holes. So again, just using my, my three mil Allen key. Uh, I'm just gonna attach that into there, like so. So that's fastened onto the frame. Just make sure some rubber seals are back in there. I'm just going to take out the little packers. Okay. That's our first section in. So we're now attaching sash two of three uh, to the first sash. Uh, so we'll just lift this one in. You know, so I've already put the hinges on this section. I've also made sure that we put a, a grab handle section on, a pull handle, because uh, we're not actually supposed to use the, the shoot bolt section as a, an actual pull handle as such. I'm just gonna put myself a little pull grip on here so it stops it from moving in and out. And now I'm just gonna attach all these together. This bit's where we know if we've been okay and it all fits. Oh, this is one of the bits. Success, the first one goes in, so that's nice. Second one. And third and fourth. Feels a little bit tight. If it's a little bit tight, just undo the little two grub screws and shift it across. But that one's actually, I can actually get that one in. That's fine. Okay. Let's just take off my little. See if we roll okay. So it all rolls okay. And locks nicely. So we're going to put uh, three on now. So last sash going in, um, just repeating the process really, just I put my little packers in and we're just going to tighten up onto the hinge plates. Fingers crossed. Take my little 
pack us out. Works fine. There you go. Cool. So we've now finished the uh, the sample. Uh, just a couple of points. Well, one point to pick out really. The most important thing, uh, aesthetic from the door, is just make sure that the gaskets are correct. And they're all in line, uh, nice trim together. Uh, you can see that that's what we need to be sort of focusing on that bit there. So you've got a nice clean cut gasket because that's basically what the customer is going to see first. So if you gasket it correctly, the door's going to have a really nice appearance. Just going to show you now how to put our glazing bead section in. Quite simple. Uh, it's just a tilt, tilting, and a click process. And that's it. And then obviously, when you just feed the the gasket wedge in, which would then sit into this section here. finished uh, that's your little sample door finished uh, big enough for any sort of doll's house or anything like that uh, I'd just like to say thanks for your support uh, any questions just email through to the sales office technical office uh, we found out that my gasketing and silicon is not as bad as we thought uh, so I'd just like to thank you all from myself and everybody at Alitech uh, just for your continued support thanks a lot cheers